what happened with Matteo Trenton in that, in that intermediate sprint? Nothing. Everybody wants a green jersey, or maybe they just want to break my balls. <laughs> Everyone's breaking my balls. That's just a word from Peter Sagan here in Love. And he was, no, I wouldn't say upset, but he lost out in that bonus second sprint and didn't get the sprint victory. But he wears the green jersey and wears it well. Coming in here to the finish with enough points in hand, taking it off of Sam Bennett, who finished in the green jersey, but no longer has it. Yeah, Peter Sagan, a man of few, but uh, poignant words. Uh, you you're on the ground there, Gregor. You have been talking to a lot of people after one of the best days of well, I, if the Tour de France is going to get any better than this, then I just can't wait. This is one of the best days of racing I've seen. Tell me about what you saw uh, at the Yumbo Visma team. I know you heard from Tom Dumoulin, who just looked absolutely ecstatic at the finish with Wout Van Aert. Yeah, and Walt Van Aert's right over my shoulder there. Another stage victory by Walt Van Aert, and kind of Pete of last year's Albi stage. We saw the crosswinds split it up gc guys lose time it happened again this year in 2020 we saw pogachar out we saw landa out losing around a minute and 20. of course tom dumoulin was happy and it must be underlining his decision to join yambo visma for 2020 as well he's happy for primos rolich happy with his, his position happy with american sepkus new zealander george bennett helping everybody out pyrenees so tom gained some important time on his rivals as well as as well as rolich and the team scooped up another stage victory. Three by my count, Alex and Michael. We've got two big, difficult Pyrenees stages coming up uh, on the weekend. And a lot of the GC teams did a lot of work today. Have you talked to them about, about the amount of energy they put out today and maybe they might not have saved enough for the weekend? Yeah, exactly. We had Egan Bernal in here and he was saying, you know, these are important gains over guys like Spaniard, Landa, Slovenian Pogacar uh, as we look ahead to tomorrow's stage. So his team put the hammer down. What was it about 40, 30 K out and they made those gains. Okay. We got, we got a little bit of picture and audio breakup with it. our on the ground <laughs> correspondent, Gregor Brown. That's okay. We are, uh, it's stormy in Austin, Texas. We have terrible internet because of that. Gregor Brown's phone has been overheating because it is actually quite a hot day in France. Uh, with the crosswinds, but bear with us. This is one of the best days of the Tour de France that we've ever seen, and I think it is time for you and I to go break it down, Alex Dito. Let's get into the show.